The most recent version of Governor Cuomo's proposed budget includes $657 million in cuts directed toward hospitals and more than $400 million in cuts that would impact nursing homes, and that's just in the first year. Now, that prompted a big rally today in Albany. The state capitol was filled with hundreds of health care workers, organizations, and emergency medical service personnel. Facing a $2.3 billion budget deficit, Governor Cuomo is now proposing more than a billion dollars in cuts to hospitals and nursing homes. Opponents say they need that money and that this proposal will hurt ambulance companies who have been trying to get state support. It's all about patient care and making sure that we can provide the best equipment uh, possible, the best training for our providers to, to initiate the, the patient care process. You call it health care crisis, health care emergencies. In some areas of the state of New York, this is health care failure. Lester Fremantle is the chair of the United New York Ambulance Network. He says the state does not recognize them as an essential service, and Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements aren't enough to cover costs for many patients. The financial struggle is becoming too much for many ambulance companies to survive. EMS has to be considered health care. We're on the ground zero. We're at the person's bedside. We're in the person's home. In response to today's rally, the New York State Division of the Budget told our NBC sister station in Albany, quote, the executive budget also includes an increase in ambulance reimbursement rates and several new EMS workforce development efforts are underway. But he did not go into any detail. Fremantle says funding to support their services is a matter of life and death. If we're not available to actually respond to the person's side in a timely fashion, these people don't get to the hospital in time to actually save their lives. Well, we reached out to both AMR and Twin City Ambulance for a response, but we're still waiting to hear back. The budget is due by April 1st.